Newton's Second Law. require a much larger force to move the more massive wheelbarrow at the same acceleration than the less massive wheelbarrow. Let's find out why. Newton's second law states that the acceleration of an object is dependent upon the mass of the object and the forces acting on it. It can be explained using the formula force equals mass times acceleration. This formula helps explain the SI unit for force, which is the Newton. And one Newton represents one kilogram times one meter per second squared. We can use Newton's second law to discover how much force is needed to move an object at a certain acceleration and how fast an object will accelerate when a certain amount of force is added to it by using the triangle method to solve this three variable equation. In the triangle method, letters that are side by side indicate to multiply, and letters that are one on top of the other indicate to divide. By plugging in the information, we can easily see that if we need to divide or multiply with the information we're given. Now let's use the triangle with our force formula. Force is going to go into the top, mass and acceleration come into the bottom. And now we can use the triangle to solve for force, mass, or acceleration when given the other two. Let's try it. How much force is needed to accelerate this 5,000 kilogram car 20 meters per second squared? We use the triangle and we plug in with the information we're given. The mass is 5,000 kilograms. The acceleration is 20 meters per second squared. So pulling it out tells us that force is going to be 5,000 kilograms times 20 meters per second squared, and that gives us a force of 100,000 newtons. How fast will the 5 kilogram ball move if it is kicked with a force of 50 newtons. Again, let's use the triangle. When we use our triangle, we plug in what we're given. The force is 50 newtons. The mass is five kilograms. So pulling it out, we know that acceleration is gonna be 50 newtons divided by five kilograms. This gives us an acceleration of 10 meters per second squared. Let's review. Which object would require more force to accelerate it at 30 meters per second squared? Hmm. B has a lot more cars than A or C. So that means it has more mass. It's going to require more force to accelerate at the same acceleration as the others. Now, which object will accelerate faster? A has four horses compared to B. So since the four horses will give it more force, it's going to accelerate faster. Thank you for watching another Adventures in iSTEM and Beyond video. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications for more Adventures in iSTEM and Beyond videos. For more ideas on how to incorporate science, technology, and skills for life into your classroom, go to adventuresinistem.com.